here I'm is. I'm trying to fill in in my front yard where there's some spaces of uh, worn down grass areas, or I should say non-grass areas. <clears throat> and I got dirt in the back, but I can't find my sifter. I had a oh, foot and a half by a foot and a half with a screen on it, chicken wire screen, and I sift all my dirt. Well, I can't find it. I got to fill in a bunch of places. There's a couple of places on the back here that I got to fill in. And on the side, I threw some dirt down there. <clears throat> I gotta fill in this back over here where those bricks are. That's all gouged out with uh, water. So it's gotta be out in the back there somewhere. And I couldn't find it yesterday. Huh. Well, we're gonna find it today. And if not, eh. I'm just going to throw some dirt down with some rocks in it. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. That's why I wanted to sift it. Because <clears throat> if you sift something like that, oh, there's pebbles and probably inch, inch and a half rocks in there. And then it's got some uh, roots, small roots from some of the trees. And, wow, well, I just... Uh, I'm going to throw it down anyway, but I'll rake it out, and I'll probably, what I did yesterday was rake that out a little bit, and some of the rocks came with me, so what I'll do is I'll put that out today, finish that, and I got, that was three wheelbarrows right there, not full, just three wheelbarrows, <laughs> and that gets heavy after about 10 to 12 shovelfuls in there. <clears throat> so I like to fill in this here all the way down here see all the rough stuff I got in there the stones and some of this stuff is just dirt but other stuff is uh, rocks but I'm going to pound this down and level this off see that's just dirt pound this down level this off and uh, throw some grass on it, and then, uh, well, I won't pound it, I'll throw some grass on it first after I rake it out. Throw some grass on it. See, look at this one right here. It's a freaking rock. It's a freaking rock. Uh, and then uh, throw some grass seed down. <coughs> Excuse me. And then pound it. I got a pounder in the garage. Uh, pounder is uh, one of my friends from Worcester Envelope. Probably should fill in in here too. A couple of things to do it. Or maybe scratch that up real good and throw some seed down. But all this here, this here needs to be filled in. And up here, and I moved the pipe over to the side. Yeah, you guys already know this, so. <clears throat> it's Sunday, but I gotta do that today. Looks like it's gonna be a nice day today. Ooh, look at those clouds. Ah. Oh, that's odd looking. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> no, they're coming over like that too. What they are is they're bigger clouds and they're getting bigger clouds over here and then down there some. And they're getting pushed by the wind, and they're starting to separate, and then they ended up like this. Because they're going that way. Let me see if I can do this right. They're going that way. We're in the camera, Gary. Jeez, big time. Uh, going that way. So they're spreading themselves out. <laughs> Pretty good observation, Mr. Holden. I know, huh? I never said I was a meteorologist. I got to do my lawn today, too. <clears throat> do I have another one to do? I don't think so, other than mine. But I need to. What I did was I raked 
I raked all this with my uh, leaf rake. So I got most of whatever. But that hill over there, I got to scratch that a little bit more and throw some seed down. I might even, uh, all this will be covered by the hay bale that I finally bought. Twelve bucks. It's second, second cutting. <laughs> That's what the guy said. He said, what are you doing with it? So I'm throwing it on some grass seed. I give him a bale of the second cutting. Okay, twelve dollars and something. Yeah, I don't care. I did it. I got it. That because I don't have a car anymore. I just can't go down and get a bale of hay. <laughs> Honey, you wanna get me a bale of hay? Bring me down there. We'll get a bale of hay. Hey, honey. <laughs> <coughs> okay, I'll go inside. Yep, see what I forgot. I would have forgot this. <clears throat> yesterday, I, uh, the day before yesterday, I bought uh, ponchos, two of them. Where's the other one? Oh, the other one's right behind the, right behind the stick. You see the stick? Huh, do you? Right behind it. Okay. And uh, put one on my bike. And after I bought it, that's when I got the wettest. And I didn't put the fucking poncho on. See, there's the old one I had. And I just didn't feel like didn't feel like getting it together. Oh, every time I put this freaking camera over here, I forget it. Let's see if I forget it today. But, uh, yeah, I don't need that bottle yet. Let's put this one here. This is the old pond, though. Yeah, I <laughs> didn't know how to use. I thought it was just a piece of, uh, plastic. But it's not. It's a freaking poncho. Got a hood and everything. Yeah, got a hood and everything. And I got a bucket or got a bag. Let's see, yeah, there's an arm right there, I think. Yeah. There's an arm. There's the other arm. And there's the hood. Right there. something? These are all in dollar going in the trash. <coughs> a dollar. 97 cents as a matter of fact. It's going in the trash. I don't need to put that up because I just bought two new ones. So yeah, bonehead. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, toss that one. And we got one on the bike. All right, we're going to toss it anyway, even if it did fall on the floor. I forgot to take my motor in last night, or I should say my battery. Uh, right before last, I had, on the way home, lost my pedal assist, which means if I don't pedal, my motor won't come on until I do run revolution with the left pedal. Now, wherever the pedal is, it comes out to be a push down is when it starts. The next one around, push, starts it. And uh, you can keep on going with that pedal by changing the gear for the rear end derailleur up here. And then you make it makes you either pedal easier or makes you pedal harder. But you can still pedal. Well, I wasn't getting any assist. My pedals weren't 
putting the motor on and off, which is what it should do to, as soon as I run revolution on that. That should uh, come to life and work the motor, but it wasn't. So uh, as I was yakking with my buddy Dennis down in South Carolina now, <clears throat> He says, oh, I had that problem. He says, uh, check your wires. I think you got to push in a cable or pull out a cable or do something. So I did. There's two wires that go into the motor. Uh, one from the pedal area down here. They're both from the pedal area, but one comes from the uh, speedometer on the on the cover on handlebars. And that is, who? I got a ruler right here, Gary. Why don't you measure that? Because what I want to do... What I want to do is uh, five and four and a half. No, oh, sorry, man. Did you get any of this? Yeah, four and a half should do it. I want to. I look at that wide tape. I'm just gonna put a piece of tape over, just like on this, this right here. I think I have a piece of wide tape on it. You know, packaging tape. That's all it is, just packaging tape. And, uh, well, what the hell's going on here? You guys don't do what I'm telling you. Uh, I just put it over the top and it'll take care of any scratches. There's no scratches on here right now. It's new. I shouldn't, I really haven't touched it. So I'm going to put a piece of tape over it and see if I can, uh, Save it, just like a screen cover, just to save it. Yeah, and I got wide tape, wide enough anyway. It might not be as wide as the speedometer, but it'll at least it'll cover the the dial. Come on, come on. <clears throat> yeah, at least it's wide enough to cover the dial. That's all I want. Oh, battery toggle. Well, wow, that was quick. All right, I guess I'm done. I got no metal right now. I don't know what else I got, but I got no metal. <laughs>